I contracted polio at the age of six months. I didn't have access to the polio vaccination. That paralyzed my legs for life. I was born in India. My biological mother didn't have access to the braces and crutches that I needed. She put me into the care of Canadian founded Families for Children where I lived for a year and a half prior to being adopted into a White Horse family um, up in White Horse, Yukon. I was able to access braces and crutches and receive orthopedic surgeries in Vancouver. It was a trip back to India in 2002 where I met my biological mother, saw the orphanage where I lived for a year and a half, and I was also able to meet polio survivors. Many polio survivors that I met weren't standing. 10 to 20 million polio survivors around our world, many rely on cut up pieces of tire and sandals on their hands to crawl around the community. That's community engagement to them. I came back to Canada from that trip to India wanting to make a difference and wanting to help the polio survivors of our world. I approached the local Rotary Clubs in the Yukon and shared with them my vision of hand cycling across the country to raise awareness that a country truly isn't polio free until the world's polio free. If we choose not to eradicate polio, over the next 40 years, the World Health Organization predicts that an additional 10 million children will be paralyzed by the effects of polio. My average speed is about 21 kilometers an hour. Uh, my speed going up hills, um, in particular the hill coming in to Belmont, probably about three and a half, four kilometers an hour. It's quite the grind. And uh, my top speed down is about 74 kilometers an hour. So uh, we have uh, two brakes here. We have the, the brake here. That's my primary brake. And then I have my park brake here. And so this helps me when this is on that I can get um, in and, and out of the bike without the bike rolling around. Well, I've been riding for about three years now. And um, my cross training's been swimming. I've uh, been able to swim 104 lengths of an Olympic-sized pool at the Vancouver Aquatic Centre non-stop in an hour and 24 minutes. And so that was my training prior to this uh, six-month, 7,200-kilometer journey. I contracted polio 25 years after the world had a prevention. My nerves, so my muscles and bones didn't develop as they should. And I have to wear this brace every day because I didn't have a vaccination. Better than a cure, we've had a prevention for over 53 years. This didn't have to happen. We have the answers right in front of us. It's the polio vaccination. We need to finish the job of eradicating polio once and for all.